What's up, Kim Peeps? Let's do some multiple choice practice without the use of a calculator. Gallium, with a mass of 69.72 AMU, has two isotopes. One isotope, gallium-69, has a natural abundance of 60.5%. What is the mass of the other isotope of gallium? Easy enough, if you had a calculator, simply plug it into your formula for a weighted average. Boom! But without a calculator, what are we gonna do? Well, let's just think about the idea of weighted averages and the fact that more weight is given to the thing that there's more of. We know that the mass of one isotope is 69 AMU. And for the sake of our sanity, let's just pretend that it was 50% abundant instead of 60.5. A little bit of a stretch, but we don't have a calculator. Let's imagine the mass of the second isotope is 68 AMU. Again, if we're imagining 50% abundance of isotope one, the other isotope would also have an abundance of 50%. So if half of my gallium had a mass of 69, the other had a mass of 68, my weighted average would fall exactly in between the two or 68.5. It's too low, so 68 is out. Let's take a look at our next option. Again, we know that the first isotope has a mass of 69 AMU. Option B gives us an isotope of 69 AMU. These aren't different isotopes. These are the same isotope, and if both isotopes or 69 AMU, the average atomic mass would be 69. And we know that the weighted average is greater than 69 AMU. B is out. Move it along to option C. Again, we know that first isotope has a mass of 69 AMU. Again, let's pretend that it's 50% abundant. If the second isotope was 70 AMU and its percent abundance was also 50%, the weighted average would be 69.5. Now. Answer C looks tempting because our weighted average is 69.72, which would be really close to 69.5. But gallium 69 is more abundant. It's 60.5% abundant. So although you may not be able to do the math in your head, you should recognize that it's gonna fall closer to 69 than it would to 70. Option C is out. And that brings us to our last option. By default, it's gonna be answer D, but let's talk about why. Again, the mass of that first isotope is gonna be 69 AMU. Once again, let's pretend its percent abundance is 50%. If the second isotope has a mass of 71 AMU, also at 50% abundance, then the weighted average would be exactly 70 AMU. But go back to the problem. The abundance of isotope 69 is actually 60.5%, so we would expect the weighted average to be a little closer to 69 than we would to 71. Boom, answer choice D.